Namaste yogis, my name is Vivek Rawat and I welcome you all on the behalf of Bali Yoga School to this online yoga teacher training course. I am your Astanga teacher and we are going to be discussing about the alignment and the structure of the postures. I hope you will enjoy this course. Namaste. Namaste everybody. I hope you all are safe and healthy. So let's start today's session again with the chanting of Om and the opening mantra of Astanga. So you can take a comfortable seat on your mat, on your chair or wherever you are while standing as well. So keeping your both palms together once again, Namaskar Mudra, close your eyes. Focus on your breath. Again, take a deep inhale. Oh. Vande Guru Nam Charinara Vinde Sandar Sita Swatma Sukha Vabode Nisreya Se Janglikaya Mane Samsara Hala Hala Mohashantye Abahu Purushakaram Sankh Chakra Siddharinam Sahastrasir Samsvetam Pranimamem Padanjalim Now bend your head forward towards your fingertips and pray to the God. Prepare your breath. Prepare your mindset. Towards the practice, prepare your energy, gently lift your head up, release your both arms down, very softly open your both eyes. Now in today's video, we are going to talk about Prasarita Paduttan Asana, wide leg forward bend and one more posture after that, intense side stretch or we call it Parsvatan Asana. So how it is going to look like, let's have a look. So you are going to start it with Samasthiti once again. So you have to be in even or equal state before commencing this flow of these two postures. So in wide leg forward fold, Prasadita Padutan Asana, there are four variations to be performed. We perform four variations. And we never come into Samasati in between these four variations. So we continuously perform these four variations and after that we come into Samasati. Then we perform Parsvottan Asana, intense side stretch pose. Now this wide leg forward bending, it may be easy for you as compared to you know simple forward bend. Why? Because here you spread your both legs both feet so it gives you a kind of you know balance uh, kind of wide stance uh, it is not just uh, the stretch of hamstring it is also the stretch uh, it also stretches your inner hamstring muscles which are known as adductor muscles so how it is let's have a look you are have to be you have to be in samasati first so as you inhale you will open your you'll open your stance so you'll take your right leg back, then turn your left toe in, you'll place your palms on the waist, then again you can take extra inhalation and extra exhalation here. So make sure the distance between your feet, it should be around three to three and a half feet apart. It depends on your length of the body. So from here as you inhale again, lift your chest higher, lift your collarbone higher, look up towards the ceiling but do not try to bend your spine too much a slight bend look up prepare your spine lengthen your spine and as you exhale firstly again engage your front thigh muscles or you can micro bend your knees then bend forward lengthen keep lengthening your spine while you are bending forward then you're going to drop your fingertips or palms down so make sure that you are firstly dropping your fingertips and palms down and then 
after that you will take extra inhalation so that you can lengthen your spine once again shift your body weight slightly forward then from here you have to recognize the structure of the spine if your spine is round then bend your knees properly focus on the elongation of the spine then slowly slowly you can take your fingertips or palms back so that it is between the curves of your feet and your base of the wrist it is in align with heels or you can take your palms more back so that your fingertips are aligned with your heel line right but that is like very intensive forward fold um, if you have good forward fold then it is going to be easy for you but what if you have round spine then you need to bend your knee right what if you are not reaching to the floor you can adjust blocks so you can adjust the blocks under your palms so how this we are going to adjust the block here let's have a look so as you can see i have two yoga blocks or you can have rubber blocks as well if you don't have blocks don't mind you can have a bottle or any kind of you know box which is giving some height so that you won't have to struggle to reach your palms to reach your fingertips down it is giving a support a stability to your posture so that you can firstly focus on the lengthening of the spine so the first goal should be like that so you are adjusting the block between your feet and under your palm and then you can bend forward so your elbow should come over your wrist and look at your tip of the nose hold the posture for five breath after spending five breath here as you inhale lengthen your spine come up as you exhale micro bend your knees place your palms on the waist come all the way up and exhale release your arms this is the first variation prasarita padottan asana a now let's talk about the b variation for b variation again inhale open your arms to the sides at shoulder level palm facing down as you exhale palms on the waist and bring your elbows closer to each other and open your chest again you can look up lift your collarbone slightly up and as you exhale you can bend forward from here so you are keeping your palms on the waist or slightly back towards your hips and stay here look at your tip of the nose once again after spending five breath here as you inhale micro bend your knees come all the way up and exhale release your both arms so here make sure that if you are struggling to bend forward you can little bit turn your toes slightly in otherwise just keep your outer edges parallel to the side edges or the front edges of the mat front and back edges of the mat now the third variation as you inhale take your arms again to the side as you exhale interlace your fingers behind your back and roll your shoulders back extend your both arms back again you can lengthen your spine lift your chest slightly higher and as you exhale you can bend forward press your both arms down as much as you can look at your tip of the nose once again after spending five breath here as you inhale come all over up and exhale release your both arms now the third variation sorry the fourth variation so here as you inhale again palms on the waist just higher as you exhale bend forward grab your big toes lengthen your spine as you exhale point your elbows out look at your tip of the nose once again keep your shoulders away from your ears again after five breath inhale chest and chin up exhale micro bend your knee inhale come all the way up and as you exhale come into samasthiti towards the front edge of the mat so now in these postures we take like four to five vinyasas four to five steps to get into the posture but again i always say that if you find if you struggle to go into the posture with a particular vinyasas you can increase the vinyasas you can increase the steps so that you are comfortable and you are moving your body parts are moving with your breath so they both are coordinated with each other right so this is about it and the drishti will be at your tip of the nose in all both like all these four variations so after this we have parts parts of tanasana intense side stretch so in this one again you need to stand in front 
of your mat in Samasiti first. Then firstly you can do one thing. You can join your both palms behind your back for that. Roll your shoulders back. Internally rotate your arms. And then join your both palms behind your back or almost between your shoulder blades. But if you struggle here, then you can grab your forearms like this. And then, but keep rolling your shoulders back so that you are allowing yourself to gain the maximum benefits or at least few benefits of the postures. Because uh, to reduce the intensity of the posture, if we are not able to perform it, it is very important. So as you inhale, you are going to take your right leg back, turn the left foot in, right foot out. Again, firstly square your hips, keep your left foot at 30 to 45 degree. Now again, you can align your right heel with the back heel or you can align your right heel with your left arch if your hips are nicely open. Otherwise, you can step your left foot slightly more out so that you can square your both hips and then make sure your navel chest completely facing towards the right side forward. As you inhale, as you exhale, micro bend your front knee then go down and stay here. After 5 breaths, as you inhale, micro bend your knee, then come up. Same with the left side. Turn the right foot in, left foot out. Again, keeping the right foot at 30 to 45 degree or less or more than that. It depends on what kind of range of motion you have got around your hip joint. So you can have that idea if you just check, if you just are aware of your body parts, of your joints. Right, as you inhale and exhale, bend forward once again. And from here, try to press the mounts of the foot or base of all the toes firmly down. That will protect your knee. And after five breaths, as you inhale, come up. And then exhale, Samasthiti. So this is about Parsvottanasana. Parsvottanasana is... A very nice side stretch, you know, bending. But again, if your shoulders are not open, and if you have any kind of knee problem, knee issue, then it is very important to not focus on getting deep into the posture, but focus on what kind of variations, what kind of modification you can get in order to, you know, work on the same joints, which the posture you know, brings the benefits for those joints, how to work on the same joints, but with less intensity, right? In this side stretch bending, you can do one more thing. You can also drop your both palms down. But what will happen, you are not working with your shoulder joint. But if you have like weak legs or if your legs don't have that much like, you know, firmness and you have like serious knee issues, then okay, you can drop your fingertips or palms down or over the block. Now what that will do that like your palms, your arm is also like providing you support so that you won't put so much pressure on your knee joint. So there, it is important. Otherwise you can just grab your forearms or you can also make a fist behind your back like this. So the main thing is you are working on your shoulder joint and you're working on your like internal rotation of the shoulder also. So that's about it. I hope you have understood the concept of these two postures. And these two postures are like the details are important, informative for you. And you're going to apply it, implement it. So just gain the benefits of these postures. And then we'll move ahead to the next postures in next sessions. So let's close this session with the chanting of Om and the closing mantra of Ashtanga. Again, sit comfortably or stand in Samasthiti. Join your palms together. Close your eyes. Inhale. Om. Swaste prajabeyai paripalayantam Nyayena margena Mahim Mahim sa Go Brahma nebya Shubhamastu nityam Loka samasta Sukhino bhavantu
drop your head down be thanks to the god be thankful lift your head up you can rub your palms together create a nice energy and take this energy to your eyes to your face muscles release your both arms down gently open your eyes so see you in the next session until then be safe namaste mm-hmm.